Hello everyone! This video will describe how to run a general linear model analysis in Satori. The GLM describes a response, Y, such as the bold response to a task in terms of all its contributing factors, X beta, in a linear combination, while also accounting for the contribution of error, E. A deep mathematical explanation of the GLM is outside the scope of this video, but we will leave some references at the end if you would like to dive deeper. To run a GLM in Satori, you will need an experimental paradigm. If the experimental paradigm is not loaded automatically, or you need to modify your experimental paradigm, please refer to the Event Manager video. To set up the analysis, you will want to go to Analysis, and then General Linear Model, or simply press Ctrl G. Once you do that, a window will appear with three tabs. In the first tab, called GLM slash Contrasts, you will see your experimental tasks in this case, one and two for the left and right hand finger tapping. Here, you can set your contrast by clicking on the little box on the left of the condition's name, and you will see the contrast name on the lower side of the window. Once you define your contrast, please click on Add Contrast in the upper right corner and proceed with the others. Moving to the second tab, you will be able to set the short channels and the motion sensors data as predictors for the GLM. Moreover, you will be able to add other regressors in the form of an SDM matrix. An SDM matrix is a design matrix and allows you to take into account additional signals in your model. Last, the software checks and corrects for serial correlations. Systemic physiology, such as cardiac, respiratory, and blood pressure oscillations and motion-induced artifacts, represent two major sources of confounding noise in FNIRS. This effect is increased by the high sampling rate of FNIRS instruments which is substantially faster than the underlying physiological signals. These can reduce the performance of analyses and inflate false positive rates of detecting evoked hemodynamic responses. For more information, please see the article entitled Autoregressive Model-Based Algorithm for Correcting Motion and Serially Correlated Errors in FNIRS by Dr. T. Hoopert. In the third tab, you can modify the hemodynamic response function parameters or choose your own. Once all the parameters are set, you can click Go, and the software will start processing your data. We will go into detail of how to visualize and interpret your results in the next video.